All right, today we're going to uh, show you how to load up a pumpkin using a tripod and a lift ring. There's been some questions about how to do this. These are 16 foot four by fours. They're measured at the back end, the height of your trailer or truck, the width of your trailer or truck, and give yourself a little bit of play so you can back in between them. And then I took and uh, made that angle so that whenever it sits up, the the two sides will press against the center piece run a bolt or a rebar through it and through some playing around I have figured out that if you put the pumpkin about four to five feet and I made a mark if you line that mark up and you put the legs about four to five feet past the pumpkin on these on the way I load mine with my trailer then I can set it up right over the top all by myself just by laying it out like this. We're also going to use a lift ring and a one ton chain hoist and a chain to uh, tie the hoist to on the tripod once I get it up in the air. So right now I'm going to lift the uh, tripod up, put the chain and the hoist on it, go ahead and lift it up over the pumpkin, hook the lift ring to it, and then I'll show you how to uh, attach the lift ring to the pumpkin and uh, go ahead and lift it up. Okay, what I've done now is, is I raised it up right in the middle, just over my head, hooked the chains to it, the chain. I wrapped it around the all three posts and went in between the posts to hold them together. So once I get it up in the air and get some weight on it, there's no way that's gonna come loose. So right now I'm gonna grab a hold of this long tail end here and then just push until it's up overneath yeah up over the pumpkin um, but first I gotta hook the uh, hoist to it and I usually hook it to two chains just for safety alright hold this Watch me lift it up. Look at it so you can see that. Just grab a hold of this end, lift up, and push, and you can see one person can set this up this way. Once you get it up in the air and center it over your pumpkin, then you make sure that everything is set in the ground and I like to put a rebar behind it just so that it don't kick out unexpectedly Okay, now we put the lift ring over the pumpkin and hook it to the uh, hoist. We uh, get the straps spread out so that they uh, are even across the pumpkin. And what's going to happen is, is this rope is going to go up underneath the pumpkin. And then we're going to pull it tight up under the pumpkin and cinch it. And then this closest strap over here, will, this tail end will go under the strap. So that whenever you put weight on it, it'll push in on it and it can't move. And that makes it so you don't have to tie any knots. And it won't slip.
Okay, so it's, those are pretty even. And the rope is down underneath. So pull the slack out of the rope. And over here we can see on the rope side. Pull the rope tight. this once you get it tight put the tail end behind that strap up underneath and if you really feel uncomfortable you can put it behind the next one too Slipping. Once you start getting some pressure on it, then you lift it up in there. And that's all there is to it. Once you get it high enough, you back the trailer under it. So there's the uh, tight end or the tail end of the rope behind the uh, strap pushing up against the pumpkin two different places and you can see the weight of the pumpkin is keeping that tail in there's no way you could could move that and there's where it goes through the loop and it's up underneath the pumpkin so it can't slip out from underneath it hope that helps good luck growing big <laughs>